Subscribe now. EU debates. Thank you, Chair, uh, Madame la Ministre, Commission President. We've condemned the horrible and unjustified invasion in Ukraine by the Russian military forces many times before. And the European Union was highly united in its response. Severe actions were implemented. And just last plenary, this parliament demanded an embargo on all Russian fossil fuels, including gas. However, these sanctions will not only harm the Russian economy. They will also affect the lives of European citizens with a direct impact on their homes, their jobs, their wallets. And this could lead to more social inequality, to a rise of unemployment and an increase in energy poverty. We need to protect our citizens and specifically those at risk of falling into poverty. People that are afraid of not being able to heat their homes next winter. We need a strong social response to their fears. The EU has the choice to leave no one behind, to mitigate the rise in energy costs, to ensure decent and affordable housing for all. The EU has the choice to protect workers on the labor market against unemployment. The EU has the choice to ensure that climate transition is a fair transition where industry pays its fair share. We need minimum wages, minimum income protection for all, and a European unemployment scheme. Colleagues, we have the possibility to protect our citizens against the hardships of war. Well, now is the time to act. Thank you. Thank you very much, Ms. Mathieu. Next, on behalf of the ID group, Jordan Bardella.